and I got emotional. I forgot myself and how the sound carries. I disturbed you. Please, <laughs> accept my apology. Corvina, no apologies necessary, oh. really. We're just happy that the mystery is all cleared up and um, everything's fine. Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah. So there's nothing we can do for no, you? No, no, there... sorry. No, it's very silly to cry about things that cannot be changed. I go back to my bed now. It won't happen again. Good night. Right. Good night, dreams. Corvina. Poor thing. Yeah, you can say that again. You know, if, if we had just stayed in bed and chalked this whole thing up to the Helga ghost noises, we wouldn't have embarrassed her. She's probably wishing right now a trap door would open. She could just fall right through. That was practically the saddest sound I have ever heard. But I feel like crying myself. Hey, 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 hey. No crime, huh? No crime. Hey, let me look at you. No tears. It's our honeymoon. No tears. It's our honeymoon. We made a deal. Nothing but big smiles. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ah. We just play dress up. What? <laughs> no, you're not putting that thing on. Uh-huh. You're not? Yes, sir. This is ridiculous. My handsome <coughs> prince, Charles. I'm sorry to disturb you again. But there is a long-distance call for Madame from Pine Valley. From who? Your sister, Julia. She says it's an emergency. Okay. Hello? Julia? Are you okay? Uh, Maria, is it you? Well, yes, of course it's me. Are you hurt? Mom, Dad, who? No, Maria, for crying out loud, nobody's hurt. I hope you're not mad I'm interrupting your honeymoon in Bulgaria with a collect call. Julia, this is Hungary, okay? And if there's nothing wrong, then why are you calling me? What's the problem? It's Terrence and me and Taylor. You are calling me, let me get this straight. You are calling me transatlantic collect to talk to me about your love life? Oh, I don't know. Feist. What? I need your advice, Terrence. Fight. What? You, you had a, you and Terrence had a fight? Yes. Oh, he's falling for that stupid, stuck-up, fake, dead, ugly roommate of his, and I want to rip her hair out. Yeah? Hello? Ju Julia, you know, you're going to have to speak up because I can barely hear you. The connection is really bad, and your voice is going in and out. I can hear you just fine. Like you're right here. I wish you were right. Oh, you know what he... Taylor was supposed to move back to... New York or Paris or, or wherever her jet setter mom lives, and he talked her out of it. I mean, can you believe that? He told her she should stay in Pine Valley, and she is. Oh, did he do that? What? Why? Why did who do what to who? Terrence. Terrence. What? What did Terrence do? I invited him over tonight. You know, I've got the apartment to myself until we move into Wildwood, and I, I thought that he would jump at the chance to have some private time together. You know what he said? Dead? Who's dead? What? No, nobody is dead. Terrence said he had to study. So I took some Mexican food over to his place so he could keep up his strength while he was hitting the books. And just guess what he was doing? He was hunkering down, getting ready to watch some stupid old movie with her. They're like some old married couple. What? Like you and Edmund. What? <sighs> Julia. That connection. You don't, oh. you don't get it, do you? I'm losing him, and I, I don't have a clue what to do. Julia? Hello? Do you know what time it is here in Bulgaria? Just answer me one question, Maria. Shouldn't I do anything that I should to try to hang on to Terrence? I mean, all the fair luck is war, right? Who's at war? Oh, aren't you listening to what I'm saying? What? Hello? 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 Remind me to strangle my sister when we get home, please. It's all well that ends well in Julia's little world, or are we at war with Bulgaria? Now, I hope you realize 
what you've gotten yourself into, Edmund. Not just one, but two maladjusted Santos women on your plate. So I hope you can put up with us. What do you think? The Mariclan is a walking advertisement for mental health? Is Julia okay? She's okay as she ever is, I guess. Boy trouble. Uh -huh. You said two maladjusted women? Come here. Come here and tell me just how maladjusted you think you are. And you don't already know? Well, I checked you out pretty thoroughly, and, um... You seem to just, just right, as far as I'm concerned. I have a terrible temper. Doesn't bother me. I'm prissy. Yeah. I like that. I am stubborn, compulsive, maniacally neat. You talk too much. Yes. That... That too. or a servant starts crying, we're not home. Uh, no, no, Bianca, I won't be uh, staying here for tonight. I thought because it's late. Well, it is late, uh, but I just, I had to stop by and talk with your mother. Uh, seeing you was an extra treat. You know, I wish I had brought those peanut butter cookies that Peggy especially baked for you. I love Wild Wind. Peggy plays good poker. <laughs> I miss the horses, too. We had fun there. I know. Well, you'll have to come over and see everyone. Can I? May I? <laughs> <laughs> when are you going back to Seattle? Not for a little while. May I please go to Wild Wind tomorrow? May I please? Are you sure it's all right? Oh, of course it's all right. And if you come early enough, I think we could go for a ride. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if it's all right with your mother. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> if you stay with Dimitri for the whole ride and no jumping. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, honey, you're welcome. Now, and honey, you have really got to go back to bed, okay? You really need a good night's sleep. Right? Good night, Dimitri. Good night, Bianca. Good night, Mommy. Good night, sweetheart. Sleep tight, baby. I can't wait till tomorrow. She seems to be doing very well. Oh, thank God. She's just her normal, friendly, affectionate self. Oh, I'm so happy for her. I wanted to grow up like that. You know that she trusts people. I don't want her to be like me, you know, build a wall around some horrible experience so it's always there. Well, you and Travis will keep a close eye on her. You're good parents. You'll know what to look for. What about Kendall's parents? I mean, didn't they know what to look for? Maybe she wouldn't have grown up to be such a monster. Well, she grew up in a, a loving home. I mean, Bill and Alice Hart are good, upstanding people who made one mistake. They didn't tell the truth to Kendall about her adoption, but that's no excuse for Kendall's actions. There is no excuse for that. I mean, the hearts are no more responsible for Kendall's problems than you are. Thank you for saying that. I just said what you already know. Well, it really helps to hear it from you. I feel so much better now that you've come over here. You know, you, you can't take responsibility for who Kendall has become. That, that, what she's done, she's done to herself. That's her problem. Just get some rest and uh, take things easy. Okay, thank you. why I said those things. I didn't mean them. I need you. If you leave me, I'll have no one. I'm going to be all alone. 
Don't leave me. Please. I'm here. You know, it's great working with you again, Moretti. It has slipped my mind just what kind of a nitpicking details man you are. Typed this form three times. Get it right this time, Cannon? Yes, sir. Though I'm so ticked that I can barely see straight. What a pain. I hate this stuff, too, but it happens all the time. Every complaint we get, we have to take seriously. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, but it's just, just a waste of time and energy. I'm out there protecting the public, and this is the thanks I get, a bogus police brutality charge stack of paperwork as high as the ceiling. Hey, count your blessings. You got a witness. Speak of the devil. Hey, Julia. Thanks for coming in early. Uh, this is Lieutenant Frank Moretti, Internal Affairs. This is Ms. Julia Santos. Hello. How do you do? Ms. Santos witnessed uh, Officer Cannon's apprehension of the mugger in the park, and she gave first aid to the victim while Officer Cannon subdued the uh, suspect. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Have you signed a formal statement about the incident? I'd be glad to. I've always considered myself an upstanding citizen. Anything I can do to see that justice is served. That's a commendable attitude, Miss Santos. Thank you. Would you tell uh, Lieutenant Moretti what you saw in the park last night? I saw the whole thing. The crook is telling the truth. He never resisted arrest. She handcuffed him and then hit him on the head with her pistol. Kane. Alice. Alice Kendall is in trouble. She really needs you. She needs her mother. 